Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 33 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Lover Kachera! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Poetai Pereira! UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. All right, so here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last year. No championship for Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody gets to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. Well, not much of a setup there, misses with the left hook. Nice try. There's the kick, it's blocked. All right, single collar tie now. Teixeira's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Down defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Well, 
single collar tie here. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allows his opponent to get to his hips. And because of that, he's been safe. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Beautiful strike. To share his hook to the body now is blocked. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Glover to share. And both guys really throwing with authority. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. Oh, no! huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Lock. Shara gets the tie clinch here. Man. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Man, he is sniffing out these takedowns from a mile away. Stuffed another shot there. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Muay Thai plump. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, huge block! He got him. Oh! He, oh! Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks up. So a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Glover Teixeira. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice, nice offense from the bottom. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, here we go with round two. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh. Oh! Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! 
Oh, nice punch there by Tishere. Wow. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet.